I lived in England in the South Yorkshire area. It was the end of 2017, I believe in December. Well, one night I noticed a light bulb was flickering and it had already been taken out of the socket a couple times. Well, I put it back in and didn't think much of it. This went on a couple of nights. It was suggested that I should invest in surveillance cameras as it was assumed it was a paranormal experience, given that the house is more than a hundred years old. A month after this, things began to escalate. I had set up surveillance cameras. Despite that, in mid-January, my exhaust pipe on my Hyundai eight-seater van was torn apart. It had been ripped from underneath the car. The police investigated it, but didn't know what it was. Strangely, there were claw marks on the exhaust. The examining mechanic didn't know what it was either. Authorities thought it was a bump I'd hit, but the claw marks were a mystery. The mechanic hadn't seen anything like that. Nevertheless, the police never got back with me. Whatever was around the area, the police were seemingly aware of it. I called the police, but got no answers. Whatever had ripped the exhaust had to use a lot of strength. It was ripped out from underneath the chamber area, which is difficult even with tools. I was baffled. So I purchased more surveillance cameras to capture video of whatever it was. Leading up to the discovery of the exhaust, my dog started barking very early in the morning. I got out of bed and took the dog out and then noticed the exhaust laid out at the back of the car. This happened about 1.30 a.m. The car has since been fixed. Then in the middle of April 2018, I noticed that my daughter had drawn something compelling for a homework project. Looking like a dog standing up on its tippy toes. Curiously, my daughter had no recollection of the sighting of this creature. In her homework, she detailed the creature's characteristics and explained why it was supposedly in danger. I don't know if she may have had an encounter of it or it was just a dream. My daughter even began to make weird howling like noises. She'd entitled her drawing, The Man Wolf, although she'd never seen werewolf movies but only Halloween costumes. She was excited to show me the drawing and then mimicked what noises she thought it would make. High pitched shrieks. I tried to talk to her, but she would get aggressive. And since she had a physical disability, I let it slide. The backstory on the house is that it was built in 1906. It had been a butcher's house with slaughter sheds and outbuildings, which have since been removed. There's also a well with water in it. Additionally, some old mining pits are in the area. If there was a creature, it seemed fascinated in my property for a reason. The situation later became intense. In April 2018, I noticed the family dog was constantly barking. 
never leaving my side, lying on me like a cat. I had immense feelings of dread and fear, like I was going to have a breakdown. My kids seemed to be upset. My daughter, who drawn the werewolf, started sleeping next to me without any explanation. I didn't question her about a possible sighting due to the fear of physical retribution from her with her disability. I began to wonder why it was coming to my house. I reached out to the local village vicar and told him everything. He seemed to be understanding and blessed the house in the early morning as the activity was at night. I assumed I'd done something wrong, leading to my situation. On the 30th of April, I decided I didn't feel comfy there anymore and took the kids away. In fact, one evening we were woken up by the dog growling and barking downstairs. I heard heavy noise outside the bedroom window and a smashing sound. I was terrified, then got up and looked outside and saw that four roof slates had been thrown to the ground and were smashed. Near the back door to the kitchen, there is a lean-to propped up which goes up to the bedroom window. The windows were open for fresh air. From those, I shouted at the dog to go to bed and then closed the windows. The next morning, I saw that the four roof slates were on the ground. I assumed the creature was trying to get into the house, but was later told it was just trying to get our attention. The cameras on the house were facing out. The floodlight next to the kitchen had come on when the roof slates had fallen. I felt safe during daytime. However, I had a shed by my house with a claw mark, so I assumed it had tried to break into it. I keep a pea bucket inside the shed, which I use when I don't want to go into the house. However, Outside the shed was strange urine sprayed all over the door, which smelled horrible, and it didn't come from inside the shed. So I splashed urine neutralizer around it to lessen the bad smell. After all these experiences, I contacted the original owners to say I was moving, and they seemed happy. I asked them about any activity they had experienced, but they never responded. I later found out this entire property and or village itself has a history behind it of the dog man wreaking havoc on the perimeter of the village. It is in the village for a reason. Luckily. I still haven't had an encounter.